I'm gonna be trying Hailey Bieber's diet and workouts. If you guys don't know who Hailey Bieber is, well, you're living under a rock. To summarize it, she is a Baldwin Nepo baby who hangs out with the Hadids and the Jenners. She married Justin Bieber, and now she has a pretty successful skincare line. And because my channel really focuses on food, I was wondering like, what does Hailey eat? So I found a few sources of what Hailey eats, and I'm gonna try it out and see how it is. And before you guys ask if I'm team Hailey or Selena, I'm team, I hope they're both happy. Honestly, I the drama surrounding them is to me so immature and dumb and of course it's just women being pitted against each other even though they probably don't hate each other and don't want this to go off on that a bit more i just really think that we should leave these women alone i mean imagine how selena feels that you keep bringing up her ex that completely destroyed her mentally she's not even seen as her own person anymore she's literally just associated with justin and how he hurt her and betrayed her i don't think she wants to be seen as that i really don't so whether you're a Haley fan or a selena fan this hurts both of them equally i think and it, it just sucks so stop thank you okay so for breakfast Haley's usual go-to is an ezekiel muffin with sliced avocado salt pepper and lemon that sounds really yummy she also really likes eggs oatmeal and a smoothie for breakfast shit it cracked take two these are so expensive. I'm pretty sure I paid like six to eight dollars for this. I... She says she loves to drink a lot, a lot, a lot of water, like bottles of water a day. So obviously I'm gonna have some water in between every meal and with every meal. Okay, let's see how these Ezekiel muffins taste. They're not bad. So obviously there's nothing really groundbreaking about this breakfast. I mean, it's essentially avocado toast and eggs. Every model, influencer, famous person and their mother has this for breakfast, so. I mean, it's good, but. We're gonna attempt to make the Hailey Bieber $17 Air One smoothie. I don't live in California anymore, so I can't just hop to Air One. Also, $17 is very expensive for a smoothie, I feel like. We're gonna chop these up and try to make the glaze. This becomes like a whippy texture. Some strawberries. Banana, avocado, pitted date, some almond milk. I didn't add the collagen peptides or sea moss gel that makes the smoothie, the skin smoothie, because I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I didn't feel like buying those expensive products when I was probably not gonna use them again, let's be real. Let's assemble this thing. We're gonna take some coconut cream and just put it around like this. And now we're gonna add a little bit of strawberry glaze. I'm gonna put it on the bottom. <laughs> this looks stupid. Gotta be careful here. Oh, oh God. Okay, so here's the finished product. Definitely not as pretty, but she means a lot to me, okay? So don't be mean to her. Now for the important part, does it taste good? Mmm. Okay, now I'm gonna do Haley's workouts. So she likes to do mainly two workouts and that is boxing and Pilates. So she has said in an interview that she likes to do Pilates because she used to be a ballet dancer and she thinks Pilates and dance have some similarities. She says that Pilates is very elongating, whatever that means. I think she tries to stay away from weights probably because I feel like a lot of people who say like their workouts are elongating just don't like weights and they want like lean long muscles. I don't think that's possible. I think our bodies, they're just how they're meant to be. Like no matter what kind of workouts you do, you can't just elongate your muscles. So I've done Pilates before, probably like one to two times in my life. I wasn't really that into it. Like it seems like an okay workout. I feel like it's becoming so popular lately as a formal workout. So I'm excited to try it again. And obviously I have to look the part. Pink Pilates princess vibes, anybody? This brings us to the sponsor of today's video, Yvette. Yvette Vet is an activewear company that has the cutest, comfiest workout clothes and they're pretty affordable too. Literally, this is the softest material ever. Their sizes are super inclusive, going from XS to 5XL. And I really like that because I feel like a lot of activewear brands 
just have like three sizes that you can pick from so i like that they have something for everybody and they have like a variety of sports bras for every size it's just, it's it's a great thing so i'm gonna do like a cute little haul of the things i picked out i got a discount code for you guys in case you guys do want to get some so it's clio 15 for 15 percent site-wide and also clio 20 for 20 percent off orders 79 and up and clio 25 for 25 percent off orders 199 and up. You have a lot of options. Okay, let's get started with this cute haul. First up, this is the set I'm gonna wear to Pilates. Really, really cute. It's super buttery. I'm obsessed with the color. Light lilac color. The sports bra is more for low impact workouts, although it is very supportive. I got a matching set. So these are the pants. They're very, very stretchy. And then for days where I am doing higher impact workouts, I got this high impact sports bra. It's in the same color, just so I can alternate between the set. So this sports bra has a built-in bra that prevents you from chafing, and it's meant for sports like running, high impact cardio, stuff like that. What I like about this too is it has a zip in the front that you can easily take off, or you can be scandalous and kind of zip it, you know? <laughs> And now we have another pink Pilates princess set. This set is so cute and so soft. And look at the pattern up close. So the top is definitely made for lower impact workouts. I took out the padding because I don't really like padding too much. It's very easy to take out. I really like the cool design in the front. It gives it some oomph. The back looks like this. It's kind of the same like the front. And then the leggings are obviously the same color and pattern and feel the same. They're full length, so no capri. And they're such good quality, it's actually crazy. And this might be my favorite set I got. Well, it's not a set, but I'm making it a set. Look at how beautiful this color is. It's like the blue version of bubblegum pink, bubblegum blue. This one also came with pads, but I took them off. And the material is kind of similar to this material, but even softer. And I love the thick straps. So because of this thick band right here under the boob area, I feel like it provides really good support and it's very comfortable. This is probably the most comfortable one in the whole haul. They are flared at the bottom and the flare starts at the knee. I feel like the tightness to flare ratio is so smooth and the transition is perfect because sometimes I feel like flare pants have this like weird look where it's like super tight and then it's like bell bottoms, you know? But this is just a very smooth, subtle transition from knee to bottom. I don't go to a Pilates studio, so I decided to just do an at-home Pilates workout. And I really like this workout because it wasn't like super intense. It was really good for beginners. And I feel like I've done these kind of movements before. It wasn't like with that reformer that I don't really like in Pilates. I don't really like that. I'm not really a huge fan of that. Um, maybe I'll try it one day, but for now this was good. I liked it. It didn't really get me sweating or breathing hard, but I did notice that my muscles were very sore by the end of it. It was definitely a lower impact, but high intensity workout and, and honestly as i'm nice writing this right now I, my muscles are sore it should feel really nice for our shoulder okay i'm gonna go do boxing Woo! so Haley loves the box she has posted videos of herself boxing she has talked about how much she loves it and i've never boxed before in my life i filmed myself for like a second and then someone walked in and i got embarrassed so i put the camera away but i like this workout it was fun and active and it I, I liked it. So for lunch, Haley usually goes for some type of fish and she loves herself a good kale Caesar salad, but without the croutons. And I'm guessing that's because she's mainly gluten-free, which kind of sucks because croutons are my favorite part of a Caesar salad. I mean that and the dressing, the dressing is really good too. This is really bringing me back to my Victoria's Secret model diet video because I feel like she eats very similar to them. Like what's up with everyone just eating the same in that like kind of environment? And of course we have our water. Ooh. Excuse the insane mess in the back. This is what happens when I cook. I really like this meal. It's also pretty basic, but it is reliable. The Caesar salad I picked to make is super good actually. I'm gonna put the recipe in my description. It's really good, like the dressing. It's absolutely divine. I wonder if this is Haley's fish of choice. Okay, that was really yummy. I'm full and happy. I'm making Haley's pizza toast that she posted on TikTok. I'm actually so excited about this. Stop, this already looks sexy as f That's 
like the best shit ever. This is actually 10 out of 10, so good. It's kind of like combining a grilled cheese and tomato soup into one, but Italian style. It's just, it absolutely so good. You need to try it. For the most part, Haley has said she likes to stay away from sugar, but when she does opt for something sweet, she loves these Magnum bars, which are actually my favorite too, and I always have them in my fridge, so this works out perfectly. They make me really happy. I don't really know how often Haley eats these. I'm just gonna pretend this is one of the days where Haley has dessert, so. Mm. Also, I do want. <clears throat> <clears throat> also, I do want to say that Haley did mention she has cheat days every once in a while and she said this a long time ago So I don't know if that's still true But she said that on her cheat days she has whatever she wants She wakes up and craving something and she has it I feel like a lot of models kind of tune into that cheat day kind of mentality Which I understand that because I used to have cheat days sometimes like I used to try to eat healthy and then Just decide on a day to just, just binge on like the food that I've actually been wanting to eat. And I've changed my diet in a way where I can fit in stuff like this and have salmon and kale salad and feel satisfied to the point where come weekend, I'm not gonna wanna just like have it full on cheat day. I can, you know, balance it out and have balanced meals. I feel like that's, that works better for me. I mean, if you wanna have a cheat day and it works better for you, go ahead, but. For dinner, Haley has said, quote, Dinner is usually kind of along the same lines as lunch, some sort of vegetable or pasta, like a gluten-free pasta. So today we're gonna have veggies and gluten-free pasta, chickpea pasta with protein and everything. So this is the finished product, gluten-free pasta with veggies on the side. Obviously normal pasta tastes better than gluten-free pasta, but this is a good choice if you wanna increase your protein intake and you're celiac or you don't wanna eat gluten. So I found this recipe that has all of Haley's favorite food. Kale Caesar salad combined with a gluten-free chickpea pasta. Also, Haley has said that recently she's mainly been eating plant-based and this meal is plant-based, so perfect. Okay, I'm gonna get into my final opinion on Haley's diet and workouts based on pretty much no merit other than I tried it and I can talk about it. So overall, I thought the diet was a little bit basic. I feel like there's not much of a difference between her diet and any other model or, you know, celebrity that I've come across. I feel like they all kind of stick to this type of diet with higher protein, you know, veggies, low in carbs, no sugar kind of thing. I did think the diet was a little bit restrictive and especially in terms of no sugar. She doesn't even have fruit really, I mean, apart from her smoothie. There's just not much fruit, and I feel like fruit is so healthy that you should definitely incorporate fruit, fruit into your diet. And also, yes, she does have the occasional gluten-free pasta and, you know, the pizza toast. I don't know how many times she has that, but, you know, I feel like she doesn't really eat that many carbs, which is crazy to me because I love carbs like I need carbs to function just add a sweet potato to your lunch you know it's not gonna hurt you I do like that Haley is honest about eating very clean and working out though because I feel like a lot of people look to her and if she was saying that she eats like shit and has pizza and cheeseburgers every day and doesn't care about working out we would all look at ourselves and be like hmm this person eats whatever they want and I try to be healthy but I don't look like that you know um, so I feel like a lot of models sometimes try to convince you that they eat everything they want and just are God's gift to the world So they stay genetically blessed, but it's just not the case So for workouts, I did enjoy my Pilates workout Although I feel like to get a more well-rounded opinion on it I would have to take classes or at least do it for longer One YouTube Pilates workout is not really gonna make me form a great opinion on Pilates I did enjoy it though. It was fun and it did get my muscles a bit sore the next day And it just it felt like a nice workout. So I did like that. Honestly, I might try Pilates I feel like that kind of convinced me. Same goes for the boxing. It wasn't a real boxing workout that she would do. It, it was like no gloves and just like a cardio boxing workout. And I did enjoy it, but I feel like I would have probably enjoyed the real thing more. So would I follow this diet on the daily? Probably not because I like how I eat better. Like if you guys have watched my What I Eat in a Week videos, like you know, I really love to cook. I love to incorporate like different cuisines and, and a lot of tastes and flavors from everywhere. And uh, I don't like to be restrictive over myself. I don't like to be like, I can't have gluten just because 
because like I'm not celiac so I'm gonna have gluten I'm gonna have my normal pasta I don't care I'm, I'm fine with just enjoying my food and not having to be clean at all times so I probably wouldn't follow this diet on the daily although one thing I did take away from it is that I should probably cut my sugar intake a little bit because I eat a lot of sugar. I crave it all the time and obviously there's so many studies that show that sugar is bad for you. It's not a good thing to eat all the time. Um, obviously, I'm not talking about the occasional indulgence or you know, the fruit. I'm mainly talking about processed sugar and eating it all the time is obviously not good for you. We all know that. It's just, it's just science, it's facts. So I should probably cut down on that, although I never will fully. Because I love candy and, and sweets so much, I probably will never just be completely sugar free. But cutting down my sugar is probably a good thing to do. And yeah, that's kind of the main thing I got away from this. And then I want to try Pilates. Um, other than that, pretty basic. Nothing really crazy about it. But yeah, let me know what you thought though. Did you learn something? Was it cool? Was it interesting? Did you hate it? Do you hate me? Do you hate her? Ah, no, I'm kidding. Don't, don't comment that but yeah let me know what you thought in the comments see you guys in my next video